this is the Provoke Prawn, and in this video I'm showing you how to update the BIOS on Gigabyte motherboards, specifically the B650i Aurorus Ultra, but this logic will apply to a multitude of different Gigabyte boards. Now there may be various different reasons you'd want to do this, but in my case it's because I'm using a Ryzen 7 7700X. The top-end Ryzen 7 CPUs have been a little bit problematic in their original launch, and I'll leave a video in the description so you can find out more about that. But there's reasons you want to update the BIOS here, and there may be other reasons too. So once your system's all put together, it's worth having a look and seeing what's going on. Now I found that the temperatures were far too hot on the CPU, worryingly slow, in fact over 100 degrees in some tests. So I wanted to check the BIOS and see what was happening there. Now you can use CPU Z to see what the BIOS version is. Alternatively, you can also go into the BIOS by mash and delete when you start your PC up, and then you'll see in the top left corner, it notes that the current BIOS version is F1. So what we need to do is head over to the Gigabyte website, find the relevant motherboard, your motherboard, then go to the support pages and look to download the BIOS. Now, before you get started, it's important noting that Many manufacturers will tell you that you shouldn't update the BIOS unless you really need to because it can cause problems. If it goes wrong, it will brick the motherboard. But in my experience, it's best to do it because there are a number of feature updates that are included in BIOS updates, including, as you'll see here, improved support for DDR5 overclocking and your RAM. But more importantly, with this one, there's also the guidance on limiting the voltage for AMD Ryzen 7000 series CPUs to make sure that they don't get too hot and cause problems in there. So I'm going to update by downloading the latest version. So grab the latest version of the BIOS, I click into download it, and then you should find that you get a zip file downloaded that you can open up. In that folder is a bunch of different files, including a guide on how to update your BIOS. Now this guide is in a PDF format, and I'll be honest, it looks pretty terrifying and unnecessarily complicated. If you're a beginner or are just trying to get this done, this looks a bit intimidating, and don't worry because it doesn't need to be this intimidating. There are, are much easier steps. But one of the important things you need to do is you need to extract the files that are in that zip file. So extract them to a USB thumb drive. You need a USB thumb drive, preferably a blank one, where you can install these files on there. So extract the files onto this drive, and then you should find that you'll see the motherboard BIOS files and importantly the BIOS file that you want. So you can see that the F9C here is the one for my motherboard. You might find different versions obviously depending on when you're doing this and what motherboard you're doing it for. But you can see that it's there and it's ready to go. So make sure the USB drive is plugged into your PC. Turn it on and then mash the delete key on your keyboard or F2 until you get into the BIOS. And down there on the bottom right you should find there's a Q flash mode. So in the Q flash mode, basically what you need to do is to find the relevant folder and then the relevant file that we want to install from the BIOS. You can see F9C again here is the example. And basically what you're going to do is click next. And then you've got the BIOS warning that it's going to go and update the BIOS. Now this will take quite some time. So make sure you've got some time set aside to do this. Don't try and rush. I've actually sped up most of the clips here because it took so long. So it's worth bearing in mind you will need some patience for it. There are multiple steps to it. It will verify the BIOS, then it reboots, it goes back into the BIOS, it verifies again, it checks everything's all right before it goes to the installation process, which gives you an idea of how much importance is put on making sure there's nothing wrong with it before the BIOS is updated, because you don't want to brick your system while doing this. So we go through these steps. And you just have to be patient. You can see we're getting a little bit further now. It's now saying that it's updating the BIOS and you'll notice the F9C in the bottom left there. But again, this takes ages. I've had to skip some of that because it just took so long. And then it will reboot once again. Once it reboots for the final time, you should find that now the BIOS is updated in the top left. So where you've got the information there, you'll see it says F9C. And hopefully you should be able to use XMP or Expo settings for your RAM as well if you're having trouble with that. And then you can boot back into Windows and enjoy some great gaming time or whatever else you're doing. Hopefully you found this video useful. Smash that thumbs up button if you did. Thanks very much for watching. Appreciate you. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel. 
and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.